In this video, we'll explore the one-pager legend. In this example chart, the legend is in the upper right-hand corner. Let's first learn how we refer to the different parts of the legend. At the top of the legend is the legend title. Below that are the legend's color and symbol items, which one pager generates dynamically. Then, at the bottom, we have a Gantt bar diagram. If you have more of a milestone chart instead of a Gantt chart, there's an equivalent milestone diagram that you can use instead. The Gantt bar and milestone diagrams are meant to explain to the audience what the different decorations in the body of your chart are. Specifically, this helps people understand how to read percent complete, baseline, and critical path. These decorations only appear if you have enabled them in the chart. So if you only enable percent complete and you disable critical path and baselines, they will not display in these diagrams. One pager's legend is primarily driven by whatever method you are using to assign colors and shapes. You can check this by going to the Home tab, clicking on Chart Properties, and then going to either the Taskbars or Milestones tab. You'll find that colors are either assigned round robin, based on a single field from your project plan, which in this case they're not since it's disabled, or that colors and shapes are assigned using the more powerful conditional formatting, which is managed here. As one pager assigns colors and shapes dynamically based on your project data, it will also update the legend so that each color and shape combination reflected in your chart also has a listing in the legend. In this case, we have four rules, but only three entries in the legend. This is because the rule assigning the yellow color currently doesn't have any qualifying tasks. Should a task qualify for this rule in the future and turn yellow, one pager will automatically add the yellow entry to the legend. While we're in Chart Properties, we can also navigate over to the Legend tab, which controls the overall settings of the legend. The Show Legend checkbox at the top enables you to quickly turn the entire legend on or off. If you just need to turn a section of the legend on or off, the checkboxes at the bottom will give you more control over the title, color and symbol items, Gantt bar diagram, and milestone diagram. You can also adjust the fonts that one pager uses in the legend, both the legend title and for the individual items in the legend. Beneath that are the controls that drive the overall width and height of the legend, plus the background color if you prefer something other than the default white. The title of the legend is usually driven by whichever field from your project plan you are using to assign colors. However, you can create your own custom title as we've done here by unchecking this box and then typing in your own text instead. The legend position controls enable you to decide where the legend will appear in your chart. By default, it is docked to the graph itself in the upper right hand corner. If you'd prefer that the legend sit outside the graph area, you can add a right margin to the chart by going to the page layout tab and increasing the right margin size. Apply that change and you'll see the right hand margin appear. Then return to the legend tab and change the docking from the graph to the page. This will reposition the legend into the upper right hand corner of the page which now has enough margin to keep it from sitting on top of the chart itself. In general, we recommend making changes to your legend using chart properties, as these settings are going to be easier to standardize into a template later. However, the legend does support some point and click editing as well. Left clicking on the legend will select it, just like any other shape. From here, you can drag the legend to a different position on your chart, or use the handlebars to resize it. Right clicking near the title of the legend will give you a context menu with several shortcuts for common legend edits that can also be made through chart properties. You can also right click on individual legend items. When you do this, you'll get a form that is specific to the settings of that legend item. From here, you can hide the legend item altogether or change its order relative to the other items also in the legend. For example, 
we might want to reorder our legend items so that red is on the top and green is on the bottom. While OnePager does enable you to change the color and shape assignments directly in the legend, we generally advise against doing this as these are considered manual changes and will cause OnePager to ignore the data-driven formatting rules that you may have assigned previously. If you want your manual changes in the legend to persist, even after you've updated your chart, you need to tell OnePager to freeze the legend in its current form. You can do this by going back to the Legend tab of Chart Properties and checking the box to freeze the legend. If you've made manual changes to your legend and would like to discard them and then rebuild the legend in an entirely data-driven fashion, right-click at the top of the legend and then choose the Rebuild Legend option from the context menu. This will reset your legend and give you a fresh start. For more information, please watch our other videos, or you can visit us at onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.